into the realm of count back on four of the scorecards. You see the two warnings. What an incident filled encounter we've just had. My goodness. Tied up for four of the judges. That took it to the realm of count back. And all four of those judges, independently, I hasten to add, favored the work of Tasunov during the course of the three three minute rounds. But it couldn't be much closer. 4 1, the ultimate verdict on the cards. But 27 27 for four of the judges. The next bout, winner by walkover. In the corner, from China, Peng Kai. So Yu Feng Kai, the tournament number three seed, goes through Bout to six. Hamburg because he's a winner Final. by a walkover. Men's over under 91 kilogram weight category. Official. Judge one, Chinese Taipei. Judge two, Sri Lanka. Judge three, Iran. Judge four, Australia. Judge five, Poland. Refi Mukash Irsadi, Kyrgyzstan. In the red corner, representing Kazakhstan, Vasily Levy. So this is the only final we'll witness here in Tashkent. The Red Uzbekistan boxer is not competing for gold. It's the 91 kilogram heavyweight division. And here comes the continental kingpin, Vasily Levy, the tournament number one seed, preparing to defend his crown. In the blue corner, representing India, Sumi Sangwan. Sumi Sangwan of India has been in red hot form throughout this tournament so far. Eliminating the seed, quarter finals, and the semi final. And he repeats his slaying endeavors here in the gold medal round. Looks to secure top spot on the medal podium, but my goodness, it's going to be a tall order facing the formidable figure of Vasily Levin of Kazakhstan. The opening bell then for the 91 kilogram gold medal bout between boxers from Kazakhstan and India. The shaven headed figure wearing red is Vasily Levit of Kazakhstan. The boxer wearing blue is Sumit Sangwan. Two skillful operators, Vasily Levit with so much accomplishment over the course of what is a glittering career. Dominance nowhere more evident than on the continent of Asia. The reigning Asian Championship gold medalist. He's taken four continental goals overall. Good right hand from Sanguen. He was absolutely superb in his semi final victory, Sanguen, of the tournament number two seed, Jackon Bogdanov of Tajikistan. And he replicated that type of form where his left hand was a thing of beauty. You see him getting that jab working again here. In the semi final, it was absolutely mesmerizing. And he started turning it into a left hook exchange of jabs there. Concentration of these men is going to have to be absolutely spot on for duration of the three three minute rounds because the knockout punch can be delivered at any time, particularly from Levitt. He's a heavy handed individual.
back in 2012. Down at 81 kilos. Levitt on the front foot, stalking his man behind a left jab. Sanguan not establishing that left hand with the same metronomic fashion that he demonstrated, particularly in the semi-final victory over Jack Onkobonov of Tajikistan. Boxing trainers will tell you when faced with a rampaging front foot fighter like Levitt, if in doubt, jab, just snake it out, try and keep the man on the end of it. Puffing right hand at mid range wasn't too far away from the hand left from Levitt, was fighting with bad intentions but was wide of the mark. I mentioned the fact that Levitt has four continental titles, what a right hand from Sanguan. His best punch of the entire contest, but Levitt reciprocates with the same shot to drive Sanguan back towards the ropes. Sanguan skipping away to his right, away from the right hand of Levitt, which scored effectively just a few moments ago after Sanguan popped him with the same shot. Overhand right from Sanguan, not too far wide of the mark once again. Terrific action in the closing seconds of this second round. Vastly Levitt looking for his fifth continental crown, having taken junior title way back in 2006 and a cadet title in 2004 for second successive senior continental gold taking the championship in Bangkok two years ago terrific second round of boxing both men landing notable right hands in the final Here's the right hand from Levitt. Second Marking time. shot over the top. Same shot from another angle. Well, there's going to be a bit of a delay to the start of this third round. Summit Sanguan sent to the furthest neutral corner. Because Levitt was ready to without his mouthpiece. Rinsed and reinserted, and we are underway in the final round of this gold medal bout in the 91 kilogram heavyweight division. Vasily Levitt looking to retain his title, the tournament number one seed, facing off against a man who has eliminated seeds number three and two. He eliminated Yu Feng Kai of China in the quarterfinals with Sanguan. It was a 3-2 split decision victory. And then in the semi-final, over Jack Onkabonov, he was absolutely superb. He left jab by Levitt. Sanguan looking to counter punch there. Both men falling short of the mark. Watch Levin extensively over the course of his glittering career. I can tell you that his best is a marauding handful. I've also had the privilege of covering Sanguan's career extensively. Starting back at the 2012 Olympic Games. He's a wonderfully, wonderfully fluid boxer at his best. So contrasting styles. But each of them equally effective. I was interested to see, interested to see what type of transition Sanguan would make up to 91 kilograms. That's a big disparity from the light heavyweight division. Remember, as he gets through with a good left jab to jolt, jolt the shaven dome of Levitt backwards. He does stand around the six foot five mark. So a very tall boxer always suggested that he would end up at a higher poundage. Takes a left hand to the rib cage, then a jolting left jab but snakes out his own left jab on the retreat. But that always going to be the danger. When faced with a more compact...
Yes. The winner and Asian champion on the 91 kilogram weight category by unanimous decision in the red corner. Who represents?